He's got some immense talent. Pitch is swung out. That's hit towards left. Collins dropping back towards the track in front of the fence. And it's over the fence. And gone. Brett Beatty hits a two-out solo home run here in the first inning to give Binghamton a 1-0 lead. Well, there he is, the much ballyhooed Brett Beatty. You don't know how long he's going to be at the double-A level. We saw some of him last season. Traded with a package of pitchers for Bundy. That's hit on a hop in a right field base hit for Beatty on an 0-1 pitch. So Beatty is aboard, and Beatty comes into today hitting 421 with one homer and one RBI. <laughs> it's always there, right? It's just covered. As the first pitch to Beatty is line fair down the left field line. A cue shot that's going to drive home Fargus from third. Beatty's going for two as it's finally picked up by Welkin left. And he's in there with an RBI double and Beatty another big night already. A single in the first, an RBI double in the third, and the Ponies are now only down 3-1. to one. This area. So allowed out, but that pitch by Beatty. Finds a hole, gets past the second baseman, and he reaches safely again. Three for three on the night for Brett Ooh. Beatty. A single in the first through the right side, an RBI double in the third. And delivery is hit to center field and giving Chase Meadows and dives and can't make the play. One run will score. Two runs will score, and three runs will score, and Beatty caught in a rundown in between second and third. In the Eastern League, the 0-2. Opposite field, deep to left. Running is Horwitz at the wall. It's gone. Brett Beatty, a smooth swing, gives Binghamton the lead. 2-1 to one on the opposite field blast. Beatty hits that one very high to right center field. It's carrying and looking up is Sharp, and that one's gone. Ball just kept carrying and carrying and carrying, and Brett Beatty has given the Ponies a three-run, a three-one lead, excuse me, with a two-run blast. Pitch is swung out, and that's hit towards left field. This is hit well. Montero back to the track, back towards the wall, and it's gone. So Brett Beatty, the big-time Mets prospect. Homers to left to make it a 6-2 game. Now Beatty's second home run this season to the opposite field here. Here's the 0-2 pitch. It swung out. This one's hit high and deep towards right. Nicolotti back to the track at the fence, and it's gone. Into the second deck is Brett Beatty homers his ninth of the season. And Binghamton will start with a 3-0 lead. That's Beatty's third home run of the year against the Yard Goats at Dunkin' Donuts Park. He finally pulls one. His first two homers were to the opposite field and left. But this one is to the upper deck and right. And the 0-2. Breaking ball is hit high in the air to deep right center. It is going to leave Dunkin' Donuts Park onto Trumbull Street. A mammoth three-run homer by Brett Beatty. And just like that, the Rumble Ponies lead it 7-1. to one. Beatty's 10th home run of the year, his fourth home run against the Yard Goats, it will be a 1-0 to Beatty, and that's hit down the left field line and pretty deep. Back is Dalton. He'll look up. See ya. A home run for Brett Beatty. A line drive solo shot to left. And it puts the Ponies on top, one to nothing. Here in the bottom of the third on Beatty's 11th of the year. Pitch. Fastball hit hard the other way. Myers lifts up. And that one will be a three-run home run, says the third base umpire. So Brett Beatty goes yard once again in this series. It's a three-run blast, and this will cut the deficit nine to four. Bottom of the fifth. Here's the pitch to Beatty. Beatty rockets that one high and deep. 
to right field, and that's way out of here. Oh my, where's it gonna land? As the strobe lights go off here at Marabito Stadium, Beatty launches his 14th homer of the season, and it is now a 10-4 New Hampshire lead. When you talk with him, you, you don't feel comfortable mentioning it because he's so humble and he hits that first pitch in a deep center field. Back is Cook, still back, just giving it a look, and it's gone! Way gone for Beatty. He just doesn't stop. A 12-game hitting streak. Home runs in back-to-back -back games. Nearing 500 during the hitting streak. 15th home run of the year, 43rd RBI. And the Ponies are up 1-0 with a Beatty Blast. And here comes the 3-2. That's launched in a run on its way. And oh my, a grand slam! is unstoppable. He's not human. And the Rumble Ponies have broken it open, making it a 12-5 game in the eighth. Hit Young at first base. Castaño nods the head, fires home the first pitch, and Beatty clocks it high in the air, deep toward right center field, chasing back Rosario. He looks up at the wall, bombs away. Brett Beatty with a two-run bomb in the top of the first inning for the Rumble Ponies. And the Mets number two prospect takes one deep out to right center field to open up the scoring in this game. First pitch swinging, and there was no question about it for Brett Beatty. Had a chance to talk to him before today's game and mentioned being able to pick the brains of some guys during spring training, David Wright. And it's Bardo Escobar, J.D. Davis, among some. Guy that is really soaked in. No one pitch. Beatty hits it high in the air, deep to left field, chasing Dunham back over towards the warning track, and it's out of here. Bombs away, Brett Beatty. Homer's in his first two at-bats of the night here in Bridgewater, and he breaks this one open. It's seven to one, Rumble Ponies over the Patriots. Beatty with his 17th and 18th homers of the season. 